Here's another video tutorial on how to draw magnetic field lines for a permanent wire and solenoid, a side and end view. So the side view for a permanent magnet is typically a square magnet. And the most important thing we have to do is indicate the N and the S as the poles. Now for magnetic field lines, uh, go from the north to the south pole and they are distributed evenly along the face because that's an even field along the face and they all come in an even way to the face here. And they actually go through the magnet like this and uh, the um, one at the top goes like this so this indicates the direction of a north pole monopole which is pushed away and symmetrically down here and this one oh. so they go at 90 degrees from here in and out and each one has an arrow Right. Now, some of the things that some students do wrong is that they have it for this north pole. They have them all come from a single point for some reason. Uh, this is, I'm going to mark this wrong. Let's grab a red marker. Um, now, this is the, uh, uh, this view, we've got to get uh, this particular view, which is the end view. So I'm just going to draw that north. Now, coming out of the north pole, it comes towards you. So you can imagine an arrow going towards you like that. So you put dots here. I'm going to put about eight dots in there and it comes out of here and through into the page across let's make them relatively symmetrical so that's a permanent magnet that's always on now if we have a wire a side view of a wire like this we use the right hand grip this is my right hand and the current the conventional current is your thumb so it goes uh, that way so the actual field lines are coming up out of the page so the dots in this case will be here now some students like drawing it like this that's a dimensional view I wouldn't call that wrong but it's not the best way so I wouldn't do that. And some students try to say that this is the North Pole. It's a bit, a bit complex. The end view is that we have a wire with a dot in it. It's not current. And if you do the right hand group rule like this, the actual field lines go continuously around. Notice that all field lines never stop on a charge, they go forever. And there's another field line going like this. Okay, we come up to a solenoid. Now if you've got the side view, we go up like this, it goes a bit, bit dot 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 behind, up again. This is sort of a compromise between the Australian standard and a way that people will, will recognise it. Now here we've got, this was the grip rule. Grip. So my hand grips, if that's a current there, my hand grips the current like this to show the direction. Here is the wrap rule. Imagine this is the solenoid. 
and I'm going to put the current here so the current comes up over the top and now this thumb points at the north and the field lines like a magnet but it actually goes all the way through so we'll start off with one, two, three, four. Four is pretty much a good number to use. And of course, um, now I've drawn it back to front, so it comes out the north. Now the end view of this, obviously, it comes up, goes around, dot, 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 all the way down, so up. Now here, it's um, here's the solenoid. The current's in the wrap rule. I call it the wrap. Wrap rule comes over the top, so the actual field lines um, in the centre. So if it comes over the, the top, the north poles in there. So if it, it's the north pole is on the, the inside, the field lines are going in to the north pole. So okay, it's pushing away from the north pole and coming out here. Okay, so it's the north poles on that side and the field lines go up and come out of the page and in, in again. Okay, I'll correct that. So that was incorrect. The north pole is into the page, so the field lines are disappearing out there and coming out up at the page. So this is meaning that the the pole of the magnet that you're seeing is the south in here and coming around the outside. So this is looking at this end.